when I was watching the Dr. Oz thing, um, his doctor says at one point, uh, and, they're t and it's like an intervention, they're trying to get him back on the traditional AIDS cocktails. And he says, uh, Charlie knows he has been incredibly successful with the antiviral cocktail. It's basically put you, Charlie, in a position to live an entirely normal life. Normal life expectancy, normal quality of life. Let me show you what was also on the show, Charlie talking about his normal quality of life. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk in depth at some point about you know what these meds actually are. Yeah. It's awesome what they what what they do, but it's also terrible what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and you can feel it. You can feel it. You know, from migraines to poo poo pants. Okay, poo poo pants. I don't think is a normal life. And I'm guessing that your treatment does not include poo poo pants it's as a, a result. Horrible, it's a horrible way to live. All these side effects disappeared the minute he started my therapy. And the minute he started my therapy, his liver went to normal levels. It, even the charts they held up on the Oz show, all the great tests they showed, they were during my treatment, not theirs. Okay, so just tell me what your critics would say. I mean, people are going to watch this and say, I know you've been called a quack a million times. Um, they're going to attack me just for having you on. Um, and one of the criticisms you always hear about alternative is, well, it lasts for some time, but then it regresses. Does this last? I mean, Charlie did say it stayed in the beginning. Yeah, of course it lasts. These vaccines, I mean, I love America, but, and it's the greatest country in the world. It's not the only country in the world, though. So you're when, a Republican. Ha. <laughs> uh. when, when the doors began to close because of UCLA and Cedars, when I couldn't apply to your FDA because they denied my work, I had my vaccines registered in other countries, and these countries have experienced amazing results. In Comoros, for example, Where? Um, Comoros, small island nation, 750,000 people, great beaches. You go there and you'll find, you'll find that as of 2006, they send me a letter because they used my vaccines, eradicated a disease called uh, chikungunya, which is kind of like the Zika. Oh, yeah. Um, and what they also eradicated HIV. As of 2006, they sent me a letter thanking them for getting rid of HIV. This isn't a vaccine made in my garage. No, I, I mean, look, I saw some of the footage of you and Charlie in Mexico, and he talked about this on Dr. Eyes. You took Charlie's blood when he was HIV positive and injected it to, into yourself. And Dr. Oz says, that is very inappropriate. What I thought was, that's confident. Yeah. You, so you don't have... You injected Charlie Scene's tiger blood into you, and you are neither HIV positive nor a tiger now? No, I, I, I saw a very sad person in a very sad place, and I really wanted to give him a boost that there was real hope out there, there was a way of curing him. And I did that, it was spontaneous, but you know, Oz is right. It would be crazy for him to do that because Oz doesn't have a real AIDS treatment. I do. Right. It would be crazy. It would be crazy for Oz. He's not vaccinated. I am.